Hello and welcome to the genomics section of Unit 1 of the Higher Human Biology course. Uh, the genomics section is a very short uh, section with not much information in it. The only thing we need to know is the definitions of these terms. Uh, we'll start with genome and work our way down the list. So the genome, um, as you, you'll see this being used in questions, um, you will need to be able to use this term. It basically means that all of the genetic information that we possess. So all of the information found on the 46 chromosomes in a human is known as its genome. Much of that is coding areas called genes, um, but there are also lots and lots of non-coding areas. That's junk DNA and all of that together is the genome. Um, over the last maybe 10 to 20 years, we have developed a system for genomic sequencing. What genomic sequencing is, it's almost self-explanatory when you know what a genome is, but it's working out the sequence of bases the A's, the T's, the C's and the G's um, in a human genome or in any organism's genome actually. So once you know the base sequence, um, you can start to compare two individuals. Now, what we would be dealing with would be maybe three billion base pairs. We'll talk about a long, long, long line of information, a long, long chain of A's, T's, C's and G's. So in order to compare two sequences with each other, that's not something a human would be able to do by themselves. So as a result, you would have to use computer programming, computer power, um, and that is bioinformatics. So anytime you see bioinformatics referred to in a question, um, your answers generally only involve computers. Um, in order to use computers to compare this genetic information, there's other things you can do as well, um, not just comparing to, to individuals with each other, but you can use bioinformatics and genomic sequencing to look for certain genes in an organism. So you can look for, for example, um, the possibility of somebody being more likely to catch a disease than somebody else. You can find out if they're more predisposed to you know, getting arthritis or something later in life. There's all sorts of things you can do when you have an understanding of the genomic sequence of an individual um, and you can use computer programming and bioinformatics to, um, to help that. Now, DNA profiling is, is the, the second last and again it's more or less self-explanatory Getting a DNA profile of somebody is, or, or any organism is knowing exactly what its base sequence is, what genes it has, uh, what genes it possesses. Having a DNA profile of somebody is very helpful from a medical point of view as well, because you can predict likelihood of, for example, catching a disease or cancer, same way as we talked about genomic sequencing. But there is a certain level of controversy or ethical issues around DNA profiling, which is something you should probably be aware of. We've talked in the past about DNA profiling, somebody else having your genetic information and what people might do with that. Um, you know, targeting adverts at you or um, perhaps, you know, somebody might be less likely to employ you if they know that you're, you're likely to catch a disease or whatever. So there's, there's issues, um, ethical issues with somebody else having that information about you which is worth thinking about, albeit you probably won't be asked about it. And then finally, um, another incredibly uh, beneficial use to us of DNA profiling or genomic sequencing is personalised medicine. And again, I feel like that's quite a self-explanatory phrase, but the, the, the way that we would have treated a disease in the past would be that there's a medicine for a disease and everybody gets that medicine. Um, that can have, I guess, three effects. Either it could cure the person, which is exactly what you're trying to do. It may have no effect whatsoever on the person, which would obviously be a problem. But it might also have adverse effects or, or cause uh, negative side effects. Personalised medicine tries to take into account a person's DNA profile. Using genomic sequencing, we can find out what genes a person has and we can start to understand what drugs are more likely to work and what drugs are less likely to give negative side effects. Well, the other word we might use, just move out the way of it, is pharmacogenetics. We talk about pharmacogenetics as just this pharma, meaning sort of the, the drug industry. Genetics obviously being to do with their genome. So you push the two of them together, you get this pharmacogenetics, which more or less means the same thing as personalised medicine, using genetic information to work out what the best drug treatment for an individual is. So as I said, genomics is not a big topic. It just requires you to be able to use and understand these terms. Make sure that you can. Um, what you might want to do is go back through the video, rewinding each point, 
and make sure that you could, before I tell you the definition, that you can give a definition into your head before you, you move the video on.